championships and careers on the line. We welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, to the first live premiere event of the season. Welcome to WWE Backlash. I think Brock Lesnar is still eyeing up the wood of the table. Lesnar wants to put the exclamation point in this match. Through the table goes Lashley. Cody trying to get back to his feet. Theory's locked and loaded. Oh my goodness! A crossroads on Cody Rhodes! Theory using the American Nightmares! Oh, move against them! But Cody gets out of it again! Now, what a great matchup this has been. The women's championship means so much to everybody in this division, especially the woman who nails the hip attack on Alexa into the cover. John Cena getting brought to his feet. His body's there, but nobody's home. And Cena gets laid out with the Claymore kick. Main event is Cena's once again. All no set his eyes on the announce table. McIntyre. Attitude adjustment through the announce table. It is a big fight feel. All or nothing in your main event. The WWE Championship. A spot on Monday Night Raw and leaving this story of former friendship behind. Oh, wait a minute. Riddle's got Randy Orton lying on the wood of that table. The Viper in a precarious situation as the bro is heading to the top row. Frog splash through the table. And now Riddle eats the cell wall again. And oh my God! He's trying to open up that wound of Riddle even more. Oh no, RKO! The RKO on top of Hell in the Cell! With the nail continues. Oh my god! Randy Orton! WrestleMania was just the beginning, and I think Matt Riddle is looking for an end. The sledgehammer, the kick. These men will never be the same. Randy Orton not only is walking away without the WWE Championship, but he will be banished from Monday Night Raw. Matt Riddle retains the WWE Championship. Welcome everybody to Friday Night Smackdown following an eventful backlash pay-per-view. Later tonight in your main event, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders are set to do battle with Braun Breaker and the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre. But that is not the only tag team match coming your way tonight as the WWE World Tag Team titles are up for grabs. Los Lotharios earning themselves an opportunity last week when Angel defeated Mustafa Ali. Ricochet and Ali defend the gold later tonight on SmackDown. We are live from the Rose Quarter in Portland, Oregon. It's gonna be a great SmackDown after Backlash. Let's get it started. Ladies and gentlemen, the matter is highly. What you're about to witness is dignified deformation executed by unprecedented precision. A diabolical athlete who will stop at nothing to uphold the integrity and honor of this great sport. Der Ring General Gunther. An epic introduction by Ludwig Kaiser for the reigning United States Champion, Gunta! Giovanni Vinci set for action later tonight on SmackDown against Wesley. He is backstage preparing. But tonight, Imperium's ring general, Gunther, the United States Champion, accompanied by Ludwig Kaiser, is set for action to kick us off in Portland, Oregon. You remember this past Saturday night on the eve of Backlash channel member exclusive WWE live event in Springfield, Illinois, Gunther successfully defending the United States Championship 
against Wesley. Wesley putting up a great effort. The ring general retaining the United States gold this past Saturday night. And again, Wesley set to do battle with Imperium's Giovanni Vinci later tonight right here on SmackDown. There's going to be a great night of action. Also later tonight, the United States champion's new number one contender will be decided. And we got a very interesting situation to talk about regarding AJ Styles' opponent tonight in the, in the number one contender's United States championship match. That was discussed earlier today on the U YouTube channel community page. But we're going to talk all about it in moments as the United States champion Gunther is set for action to kick us off. And the opponent, a man who has gone 2 0 since returning to the WWE, Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. And his opponent, from seasonal residencies, weighing in at 212 pounds, Tyler Breeze. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this past Saturday night, at WWE Live, Robert Roode went one-on-one -on -one with Dexter Loomis, and Dexter originally scheduled to wrestle AJ Styles tonight, but unfortunately suffered an undisclosed injury in that matchup with Robert Roode. And since Roode picked up the victory at WWE Live in Springfield, he has been rewarded Dexter Loomis' place. So later tonight on SmackDown, it will be the glorious one, Robert Roode, now taking on the phenomenal AJ Styles in the finals of the United States Championship Eliminator. The winner will be next in line to face Gunther for the United States Championship. So big time change. How is AJ Styles preparing for Robert Roode later tonight? And how much time did Robert Roode even have to get prepared for this match here in Portland? There's gonna be a big matchup. It is a stacked card tonight on SmackDown. Number one contenderships, championships, and high stakes on the line. But we are set to kick things off in the Rose Quarter. Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze, so far has defeated Noam Dar as well as Santos Escobar upon his return to Friday Night SmackDown. But tonight he's got his biggest challenge yet. The United States Champion, the Ring General, Gunther. This should be a great one-on-one -on -one matchup to kick off your Friday Night SmackDown after Backlash as we are on the road to Sunday night, May the 14th, Rogers Arena, Vancouver, Canada, for our next live premiere event. As announced this past Monday Night on Raw, WWE Vengeance. Cannot wait to get to Vancouver next month, but tonight we gotta focus in on the action. Guther, one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Breeze. Of course, Guther has yet to be defeated since Imperium was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown back after Survivor Series in November. Guther, of course, won the United States Championship at WrestleMania. One of the biggest power bombs we ever seen, sending Bobby Lashley for a ride off this hop rope and dethroning the Almighty One for the United States Championship. And as Tyler Breeze is starting to pick up some momentum on the ring general right now. We mentioned again this past Saturday night, WWE Live available for channel members only, and the replay is available at any time for channel members, premium pass holders of the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. With Gunther retaining, of course, the United States Championship over Wesley. But nonetheless, we'll, Wesley will be in action later tonight against Giovanni Vinci, but right now Gunther's taking the fight to Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze to kick things off here at the Rose Quarter in Portland. And what a big boot by Gunther. Sending Tyler Breeze to the outside. And Gunther obviously going to take his time. Loves to get things done inside the confines of the squared circle. The mat is sacred to Imperium. That is where they do operate their business. Look at Tyler Breeze now. Going to high risk and of course high reward. Try to pull some aces out of the hat, if you will, to keep the United States, not the United States champion down tonight, excuse me. Luther getting the shoulder up, but Tyler Breeze obviously Put together a blueprint to try to defeat the United States champion tonight. And you gotta believe, not only if Tyler Breeze picks up this victory, regardless of the number one contenders match later tonight, Tyler Breeze with a win tonight could easily put himself in line for a future United States championship match against Guther. Right now, the ring general taking the momentum back in this contest. Couple of shots to the chest. Nobody lands them harder than the ring general and the United States champion. Just ragdolling Tyler Breeze around the squared circle. 
Again, still to come tonight on Friday Night SmackDown, the WWE Tag Team Championships will be on the line. Los Lotharios, Angel, and Humberto set to challenge Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. And in your main event, the two men who fell to Ali and Ricochet this past Sunday night at Backlash was the replay of that event, also available right now. Later tonight, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, look to bounce back as they face the team of Braun Breaker and the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. And those two men won a recent tag team victory over Alpha Academy a few weeks ago on SmackDown. This should be a very interesting heavyweight main event. Stack night of action here in Portland as Gunther continuing to work over his opponent tonight, Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze. The ring generals all business inside of that ring. We're going to keep his undefeated streak here on SmackDown going. We're going to keep his reign atop as the United States champion moving forward. A couple of boot scrapes there. Prince Pretty might not look so pretty after Gunther's done with them. Luther tapped out Wesley this past Saturday night at WWE. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of such, could be going for that same sleeper hold maneuver. Lays out with it. You see how he just wrenches the breath out of the rib cage with his legs. And Tyler Breeze may have nowhere to go right now. And he's got no choice but to tap out. Gunther picking up another victory via submission tonight here on Friday Night SmackDown. Gunther's got so many ways to beat you inside the squared circle. We've seen him utilize the power bomb, the last symphony, and now this sleeper hold by the United States champion. Here's your winner, Gunther! Another big time victory from Imperium's ring general. But later tonight, will it be Robert Roode or will it be AJ Styles? The winner of that matchup will be next in line to challenge Gunther for the United States Championship in the near future. But as for right now, the champion himself, Guther, reigns supreme on SmackDown. Well, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, we are heading back to the North, Rogers Center, Vancouver, Canada. WWE Vengeance, Sunday night, May the 14th. Cannot wait to get to Vancouver for our next live premiere. We are set for your WWE World Tag Team Championship affair. Portland, Oregon, Rose Corner getting a treat tonight. The gold is on the line. And these two men, Angel and Humberto Los Lotharios, earning this opportunity last week here on SmackDown when Angel went one-on-one -on -one with Mustafa Ali. And credit to both men before we discuss the result. Absolutely leaving everything they got inside the squared circle. An incredible cruiserweight affair between Angel and Mustafa Ali. But in the end, some underhanded tactics. And Humberto getting involved on more than one occasion. Helping Angel secure the victory over Ali just 48 hours before the champions defended the gold in Minneapolis at Backlash. And of course, this past Sunday night, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, as we've already discussed, retaining the World Tag Team Championships in an absolutely show stealer of a match against Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. And due to that win and due to Angel's victory last Friday night, this tag team match signed, sealed, and about to be delivered here in the Rose Quarter. Angel and Umberto, things haven't really gone their way the last few months here on Friday Night SmackDown. Umberto had an opportunity to become the Cruiserweight Champion, came up short, but nonetheless, a new leash on their careers after last week, and they're looking to take fullest advantage of this opportunity tonight. And here comes champion number one, and the man who I'm sure feels responsible for having to defend the tag team championships just so far, or should say so close after their latest defense this past Sunday. Again, Mustafa Ali gave everything he had to that matchup against Angel last week, but came up short. Of course, with the help of Humberto in that matchup. Ali and Ricochet, they got pushed to their absolute limits against the Viking Raiders this past Sunday night in Minneapolis at Backlash. But Ali and Ricochet coming out on the other side, stealing the show, which seems to be what they do best. They walked out of WrestleMania in February as the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners. They walked away the World Tag Team Champions, and they remained with those gold this past Sunday night. And now a new opportunity and a new challenge ahead with Angel and Humberto Los Lotharios looking to take away the gold from the reigning defending champions here tonight in Portland.
Champion number one enters the squared circle, and here comes the tag team partner. The highlight of the night. The one, the only, Ricochet. We have often called Ricochet the highlight of the night. We have often called Mustafa Ali the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown. And between those two men, they have made one hell of a tag team that has yet to be defeated in two-on-two -two competition. Ricochet, been holding a championship for the better part of the last year. Had a six month reign with the Cruiserweight Gold and in little to no time was able to secure the World Tag Team Championships and himself and Mustafa Ali have not let up since. You gotta wonder the condition of Ricochet and Ali, not only a week removed from that incredibly hard hitting and ultimately exhausting defense against Eric and Ivar in Minneapolis. Are they coming into this match 100%? That remains to be seen. But whether their bodies say so or not, Ali and Ricochet are going to throw everything they got at Los Lotharios. The World Tag Team Championships are on the line. Let's send things down to the ring for your official pre-match introductions. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the World Tag Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Humberto and Angel, the Lethal Lovers, Los Lotharios. And their opponents at a combined weight of 372 pounds. They are the World Tag Team Champions, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. Big fight feel here at the Rose Corner, Portland, Oregon. The World Tag Team Championship of the WWE on the line. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, your reigning defending champions, defend the gold against Humberto and Angel, Los Lotharios. The bell has sounded and we are immediately under the way with a collar and elbow by Ali and Humberto. And I'm sure Ali chomping at the bit to get on both of these men. Of course, Angel picked up the victory last week with help of Humberto. I'm sure Ali has not forgotten. Now the opportunity to right that wrong from seven nights ago and also pick on, or should say pick up, another tag team victory. Oh, their commentary a little rocky after a busy week from Backlash Weekend. Nonetheless, Humberto rushing leg sweep into the submission hold on Ali, trying to tap out Mustafa early. And again, you gotta wonder the condition of Ali and Ricochet following their matchup with the Viking Raiders this past Sunday, and hell, especially Ali following the matchup with Angel seven nights ago on SmackDown. I'm sure Humberto and Angel had their eyes locked on the tag team title match this past Sunday in Minneapolis, and are gonna be looking to take advantage of any opportunity they see fit over Ricochet and Ali, but a tag made to Ricochet, an impressive tag team offense. And a Ricochet into the bridge on Humberto. First cover the matchup here, trying to pick it up, but no. Got the two count. And you gotta believe Ricochet and Ali, they have left everything in the kitchen sink inside of that squared circle each and every time they have entered. And I'm sure they plan on doing the same tonight against Angel and Humberto, but it will not be an easy task. Whether you like the attitude of Angel and Humberto, whether you like their actions seven nights ago on SmackDown, you can't knock their talents. And they certainly have what it takes to dethrone the champions tonight, but not if Ricochet is pulling the cat out of the hat like that. Getting the one count there, but the highlight of the note showing exactly why we call him that, but unfortunately a crash and burn as Umberto gets out of the way. I got a feeling we are in for a good one. With the World Tag Team titles at stake, neither team gonna be looking to give an inch. And the cover by Humberto, and Ricochet pops the shoulder up. One and only Ricochet, one of the most resilient competitors we have seen inside the squared circle especially here on Friday night. Smackdown just the last number of months alone. But have the teaming of Ricochet and Ali met their match in Los Lotharios tonight? That is the question and that is what remains to be seen. 
Humberto taking the momentum for Los Lotharios, and there's the tag. We got our first look at Angel Garza in this matchup. Angel gonna whip off Ricochet, and just sends him over the top rope there. What power by one half of Los Lotharios. And Angel, no stranger to showboat in here, certainly loves to be the center of attention, but he better keep his eye on Ricochet, because Ricochet's got a million and one maneuvers like that to retain the tag team titles. Tilt to whirl head scissors, takes down one half of the challengers. And not let up on Ricochet and Ali, even for a moment. One of the best duos we have seen in WWE in quite some time. As we mentioned, yet to be defeated as a duo. Again, this is the team that went through three rounds of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, ultimately to win it on WrestleMania Saturday, and then move on just 24 hours later to defeat Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa to become the World Tag Team Champions. And now Ricochet, look at this maneuver. Incredible takedown on Angel, and Ricochet drawing a line in the sand telling the challengers to either put up or shut up tonight. Ricochet goes behind. Very small waist in motion there by the highlight of the night. Always wanted to keep the foot on the gas pedal there and might have just knocked down Angel into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet. Angel just trying to crawl to Los Lotharios' corner. He's got to get his wits about him right now. Ricochet might have got his bell rung there. Holler and elbow by the champion and the challenger. As Angel starting to unload the one and only and a backstabber there by Angel. And Ricochet in need of a tag now. We well, see Angel in enemy territory. That time pays him dividends as he's able to cut off the human highlight reel and drag him to Los Lotharios territory. And a tag made to Umberto. It looks like we're gonna see a little tandem offense here out of the lethal lovers themselves. Humberto with the shoulder block takedown, assisted by Angel Garza. And now Carrillo, hook and ricochet. What is he going for, a muscle buster here? Oh, drops him on his knees, about almost like a shoulder breaker. I don't even know what to call that. Nonetheless, Ricochet's gotta be feeling it. But Umberto not even gonna go for the cover yet. I think he knows Ricochet and Ali, no strangers to go in the distance in tag team matchups here, and another tag team maneuver by the challengers. You see Angel taking his eye off the ball. Ricochet makes the tag to Ali, but Angel's right there with the double knees. A variation of Ricochet's recall knee, and Angel used it on Ali there. And now into the cover. Ali may be a little close to the ropes. Referee, I don't think, saw it there, but nonetheless, Ali gets the shoulder up. Surprised Humberto didn't go for the pinfall off Ricochet. But as we mentioned, Ricochet and Ali, no strangers to go in the distance. There's a reason we call Ali the heart and soul of SmackDown, and quite frankly, we can call both of these men that very term. They will go to the deep waters. They will go to championship rounds. They will throw anything they have to, any means necessary, to walk away the winners, and especially in this case, the tag team champions. And Ali, underhook there. Power bomb sits out with it. Ali pulling out some powerhouse maneuvers tonight. Trying to mix up the offense here, keep himself unpredictable for Los Lotharios. Ali in control, at least for a moment there, as Angel gets one half of the champions off of him. Now goes behind, there's a German on Ali. And you remember these two men, Angel and Mustafa Ali, wrestled just seven nights ago here on SmackDown. I'm sure they picked up a couple of notes on each other to bring into this tag team matchup. Got the tag to Umberto there, but Mustafa Ali was on the game just as, or excuse me, just as Angel was when Ali got tagged in. And Ali with the Insiguri takes Umberto off the apron. And Ali starting to build momentum here in Portland. Crossbody takes out Humberto. And the World Tag Team Champions in the driver's seat in what has been a great tag team championship match thus far. Portland, Oregon getting a treat. Double tag team matches tonight. One of them for the most prestigious prize in the tag team division in WWE. Ali looking good right now. Sumberto on the outside. Got to get to his feet. His legs got to be scrambled off that offense by Ali. And wait a minute. Ali over the top rope taking things to the air. 
Down goes Humberto a second time in a row. And Ali going to make his way back inside the squared circle as Humberto's down and out. And Mustafa Ali is in firm control of this World Tag Team Championship defense. And Humberto took a moment there. Wasn't necessarily a rush to get back into the ring, but is back in there nonetheless. Able to avoid whatever Ali had in mind. Humberto going for a powerbomb of his own. Looks like here. Wait a minute. Ali able to flip out of it into the cover. And Humberto pops the shoulder off the canvas. And there's a counter by one half of Los Lotharios. Angel and Humberto got to start building some momentum. Ali went on a spring there. Oh, wait a minute. Tilt to whirl. Head scissors takes down one half of the world tag team champions. And follows it up with a neck breaker. Oh, and look at that. Humberto all over Mustafa Ali right now. And I'm making his way back to the corner to tag in the fresh legs and Angel Garza. Ali tags in the human highlight reel and Ricochet. And here we go as Angel, swing blade, follows it up with a drop kick. Ricochet springs up. Ricochet goes behind. Tilt to whirl, head scissors of his own. This match is kicking into a new gear right now. Neither team looking to leave Portland, Oregon without the World Tag Team Championship. Man, how much do Ricochet and Ali got in the tank after that matchup with the Viking Raiders this past Sunday night? From Minneapolis all the way to Portland, Ricochet and Ali so far proving why they are the World Tag Team Champions. But can they survive? Angel and Humberto tonight, and there's a super kick by Ricochet. Champions back in control, but for how long as Ricochet heads to the top rope here? He's got his eyes locked on Angel Garza. Mood Salt lands flush. And that's got to do it to retain the championships. Not just yet as Angel gets the shoulder up again, and Humberto was going to break it up there. But luckily, Angel still had a little bit left in the tank. And what is it going to take to keep one of these teams down tonight? As we mentioned, not to reiterate ourselves, but it's important, especially with the stakes in mind, that neither team looking to leave Portland, Oregon tonight without the World Tag Team Championship. And Angel Gars off the sit-out spine buster there. He's got the highlight reel smackdown in his grasp, but Ricochet's got something else in mind. Back and forth we start to go in this tag team title match. And Angel back into the corner. Ricochet sitting him on the top rope. And what is going through the mind of the highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown? Oh no, he could be going for a big time Spanish fly on Angel Garza. Not even able to get the one count there. And you hear the crowd in Portland giving their appreciation to these four competitors. Humberto was able to break things up. Ali took care, took care excuse me, of Humberto, and Ricochet's got to keep the momentum going here. Springboard moves salt, but nobody home. And will that crash and burn reward Los Lotharios with the tag team titles? They're going to do it. Angel into the cover. No, Ricochet survives and retains the titles at least for another moment. And it looked like there, Angel wanted to tag to his tag team partner, but Umberto and Ali getting into a scrimmage at ringside. And it's just down to our two legal competitors at the current moment, as Ricochet trying to build some momentum here. Shooting star press into the cover. Will that do it? Angel survives again. We have got a clinic for the world tag team titles here tonight. Springboard, Moonsault takes out Angel. Angel in need of a tag. Ricochet going to make sure that doesn't happen on his own accord. Now sends Garza back into the opposite corner. Ricochet going to hit the ropes. Drop kick there. Trying to ring the bell of Angel Garza yet again in this matchup. And Ricochet's thrown some of his best offense, though, at Angel and Humberto throughout this matchup. Are the champions racking their brains right now, trying to figure out what they got to do to keep Los Lotharios down and out? Maybe a little double team action will do just that. And the fresh legs of Ali are qualified to be in there. I'm sure Ali would love to get the pinfall or submission on Angel tonight and rebound from that matchup last week on SmackDown. Angel 
Going to the outside. Ricochet going to take care of Garza here. Oh, look at this. Ricochet. I think this is a little payback for Los Lotharios trying to turn that singles into a handicap last Friday night. Ricochet doing a little more damage on Angel Garza at ringside. Don't dish it out if you can't take it, says the World Tag Team Champions. Oh, and Garza out of nowhere, catching Ali with that super kick. And going for the quick cover. Almost stealing the titles there, but not just yet. This is what Friday Night SmackDown is all about. This is what the tag team titles are all about. These four bodies leaving it all inside the squared circle. And hell, even at ringside, all in the means of leaving with the World Tag Team titles. Ali, down goes Angel, into the cover. Almost had him there as Ricochet took out Umberto, who was trying to break things up. But Angel Garza able to kick out again. And I don't know what the hell this is going to take to get a conclusion to this tag team championship match. Ali going for the basement drop kick. Nobody home there. And now Angel with a drop kick of his own. And has the tides just shifted in a matter of seconds in this World Tag Team title match? Mustafa Ali in enemy territory. And now a tag made of Humberto. Much needed by Los Lotharios here. And have the lethal lovers with a little bit of double team on Ali. Are we going to be on the verge of having new World Tag Team champions in Angel and Humberto tonight? That is very well the case as Ali is down and out, and Humberto has got Ali's knee all kinds of contorted. Humberto and Angel trying to stick to the blueprint there. A tag made Angel. I don't really don't know if I agree with that. Angel was in for a few moments, and already is back inside the squared circle. Nonetheless, Ricochet tagged in. Ricochet bounces off his opponent like only he can, and a nice tilt to world head scissors. And what has Ricochet got in mind here? Ricochet's tired, he's exhausted, but he's heading to the top rope. There's the moonsault again. Almost had Angel off that very maneuver earlier on in this matchup. Wasn't able to put him away. And now he's got Garza on the shoulders, and down he goes. And Angel just trying to roll to the outside and catch a breather. Trying to get his wits about him. But Ali right there. Oh, and look at this. And when sure a brawl doesn't break down a ringside, referee's gonna have to keep his eyes on this. And Ricochet! You wanna talk about keeping your eyes on something? Angel not keeping his eyes on the legal competitor, and Ricochet took advantage. Angel up against our announce table right now, and Ricochet gonna use it as a weapon. Mustafa and Mustafa Lee and Ricochet are going to a different place tonight. They are digging down deeper than we've ever seen them dig. And they're trying anything in the book to keep down the challengers and retain the World Tag Team titles. And so far, nothing is going their way. Ricochet back inside the ring. Angel is on his tail, however. Kick to the gut. Oh, wait a minute here. Angel going for this butt buster maneuver again. And it was a submission hold. The spine, the shoulder's got to be crying here. Ali in to break it up. I think he might have caught the referee a little bit. We've on, on, unfortunately found ourselves in a similar situation that we did this past Sunday night when the referee got knocked out in the matchup between Ali Ricochet and the Viking Raiders. Ricochet had the sunset flip. The referee not able to capitalize here. Tag made to Umberto, and Angel just trying to get his wits about him on the outside, and Ricochet tuned up the band and sent Humberto's brain into the fourth row. Man, what a matchup right now. Humberto's got to get back into this for the challengers. Ricochet and Ali starting to build some momentum. Oh, no. What does Humberto got in mind as he takes down one half of the champions here? Springboard moonsault. But Ricochet gets the knees up. Kick to the gut. Great call knee. That has got to do it. Into the cover. And no. Humberto got the shoulder up and the referee a bit of a slower count there still trying to get his eggs not scrambled after got knocked out moments ago unintentionally. 
Oh, wait a minute, Ricochet, not gonna waste any time. Recall number two in this match. Count of two, that's a three. Angels too late. After an incredible tag team match, the championships remain with Mustafa Ali and the highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown. What a tag team matchup here at the Rose Corner in Portland. Los Lotharios gave it all they had, but unfortunately came up short. Here we are. Ali and Ricochet proving that they deserve to be called the Tag Team Champions of the World. Viking Raiders, Los Lotharios, who is next to step up to the champions and who will Ali and Ricochet try to turn away next? Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. Well, the action continues here tonight in Portland as Queen Zelina goes one-on-one -on -one with Raquel Rodriguez. This has been an ongoing issue between Zelina and Carmella with Raquel. Who's going to pick up the victory tonight? Also, Imperium's Giovanni Vinci set to go one-on-one -on -one with the man who contested Guther this past Saturday night, Wesley. And the results of those contests see Carmella and Queen Zelina one-upping Raquel Rodriguez again. Raquel's going to have to bounce back sooner rather than later, and Wesley picks up the victory over Giovanni Vinci on SmackDown. What well, is time to decide the new number one contender for Gunta's United States Championship? It was supposed to be Dexter Loomis. But an undisclosed injury sidelines him for the time being, and the man who defeated him less than a week ago in Springfield at WWE Live, but glorious Robert Roode finds himself in an opportune state tonight. Will Roode become the new number one contender for the United States title? This past Saturday night, channel member exclusive live event, Robert Roode went one-on-one -on -one with the man who is supposed to be competing right here, right now, the strange and unusual Dexter Loomis. And Robert Roode, little spine buster, little pump handle, little glorious DDT, threw everything he could and eventually was able to keep Dexter Loomis down. And again, Dexter suffering some kind of undisclosed injury in that matchup. Do not know or have a timetable when Dexter will be back, but because of that victory, Robert Roode earning himself to be the replacement. And you remember a few weeks ago when this United States Championship Eliminator kicked off, it was Dexter Loomis, Robert Roode, and Dolph Ziggler in a triple threat matchup. And Dexter tapped out Dolph on that night. So Robert Roode not only wasn't pinned in that original contest, but was able to bounce back this past Saturday night. Whether you like how he got here or not, you can't say Robert Roode hasn't earned this matchup against AJ Styles. Of course, in the other triple threat match, AJ Styles was able to keep down Jinder Mahal and fend off Johnny Gargano, and the phenomenal one has earned his spot, no doubt about it, in this United States Championship Eliminator Finals right here tonight in Portland. And his opponent. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Two men who are no stranger to the United States Championship. They have both held that very gold before. And two men who would be a great challenge to the ring general, Gunther. 
You saw him in action earlier tonight. Gunther with a impressive victory over Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze. He defeated Wes Lee at WWE Live less than a week ago. And you remember at WrestleMania when Gunther defeated the almighty Bobby Lashley to become the United States Champion. But tonight, now that he has got his matchup and his victory done and over with, Imperium Locker Room will sit back and watch as AJ Styles and Robert Roode fight it, or excuse me, fend each other off to try to determine the next number one contender. Of course, moments ago, Giovanni Vinci coming up short for Imperium against Wes Lee. I'm sure Gunther can't be happy about that, but he's got to focus at the matter at hand. Robert Roode, AJ Styles, one of these men about to become the next contender for the United States gold. And Roode trying to win this thing early off the schoolboy, but AJ Styles knows how to get out of that. That's an old trick, an old book, and a phenomenal one, no stranger to it. These two men, no strangers to each other. They have rubbed elbows in this business for years upon years, and they have been inside the ring with each other before. But tonight, big time matter at hand as Robert Roode takes down Styles with the clothesline. And you remember this news really just breaking earlier today. So how long did Robert Roode and AJ Styles have to prepare for each other? At least you could say it is an even playing field coming into this United States Championship match tonight. But again, their history with each other definitely going to do the themselves dividends tonight. Styles able to get out of it there. Now whip of the glorious one, Robert Rudolph goes behind, snap German by Styles. Either one of these men contesting against Gunther would certainly be a challenge for the United States title. Robert Rude, remember back at WrestleMania, wait a minute, wait a minute, Styles going for the calf crusher on Robert Rude, too close to the ropes there. Rude saved by the ring ropes. As we were mentioning, back at WrestleMania, Robert Rudy may have come up short, but he pushed the franchise John Cena to the limit on WrestleMania Sunday, the same night that AJ Styles and Edge teamed up in a losing effort to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Nonetheless, both of these men writing new history in their careers in recent weeks, and now find themselves with a big opportunity on the horizon if they can get past the other here tonight in Portland. You know, Styles was heading towards the ropes there, heading towards the apron. Could have had the phenomenal forearm in mind, but Robert Roode knows that maneuver better than most. He was able to cut it off before Styles could even get the wheels turning. Robert Roode whipping AJ off, and the momentum just taking Styles to the outside, and the glorious one in no rush to go after his opponent tonight. Roode going to take his time, allow AJ to get back into the ring, and scout his next maneuver. As this matchup progresses, we want to thank you for joining us here on Friday Night SmackDown. Still to come in moments, your tag team main event between the Viking Raiders taking on Braun Breaker and the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. Giovanni Vinci coming up short against Wes Lee. That on-growing issue between Queen Zelina and Carmella, who have been taking the fight and really taking advantage of the alone Raquel Rodriguez as of late. Carmella's going to have to bounce back a partner of her own or something like that in the coming weeks. But nonetheless, it's been a great night of action here on SmackDown. And it's continuing right now between Rude and Styles. Whipping Styles off here. Rude has got the phenomenal one on the top rope. What is the glorious one got in mind? Could be going for a superplex here on Styles. And down goes the phenomenal one. And AJ. A little bit of appreciation from these two. From this audience here in Portland, AJ avoiding whatever Rude had in mind. And wait a minute, Styles! No waste in motion by the phenomenal one! A Styles clash on Robert Rude! Into the cover! AJ Styles making short work of Robert Rude here tonight on SmackDown! AJ came in with a motive and absolutely got it done. The new number one contender for the United States title. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, we now know the next time the United States Championship will be defended, who will be across the ring from Imperium's ring general. AJ Styles awaits a meeting with Gunta for the United States Championship. What a match that is going to be. And we very well may be looking at the man to give Gunther his first loss here on Friday Night SmackDown.
Next week, SmackDown is heading to Sin City, Las Vegas, and already signed, Dominic Mysterio's got himself a grudge match against Legado del Fantasma's Santos Escobar, and a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity for Escobar hangs in the balance. Also coming your way next week in Las Vegas, the Women's Tag Team Championship set to be defended. Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons picking up their debut victory a few weeks ago, and now they go 2v2 against Bianca Belair and Shotzi next week for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. All that and more coming your way next Friday night as SmackDown emanates from Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. Cannot wait to get to the strip. It is going to be a great Friday night SmackDown in seven weeks' time. Or seven nights' time. Who's looking at the calendar? Nonetheless, it is main event time from the Rose Quarter in Portland, Oregon here on Friday Night SmackDown. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. Well, these two angry Vikings marching their way to the ring tonight after coming up short this past Sunday night in Minneapolis against Ricochet and Mustafa Ali for the WWE World Tag Team titles. Ever since their raw contracts expired and they jumped over to Friday Night SmackDown, Eric and Ivar have been dominant, except coming up short this past Sunday night at Backlash. But tonight the war looks to rage on. Eric and Ivar are looking to bounce back. They made an open challenge to the SmackDown locker room and talk about a tag team to accept. The two, the two men, excuse me, that defeated Alpha Academy a few weeks ago are back in tag team action tonight. Braun Breaker and the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre, who's coming off an absolutely epic match with John Cena this past Sunday night to retain that very World Heavyweight gold. But nonetheless, the sirens ringing here in the Rose Corner, and that could only mean one thing. Braun Breaker is in the house here on SmackDown. Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. Well, Breaker has been impressive since making a SmackDown debut about a month ago at this time, has defeated Otis in singles action, and as we mentioned, teamed up with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre successfully against Alpha Academy. Remember, Braun Breaker actually got the pinfall over Chad Gable in that matchup. And now again, Viking Raiders throwing out that open challenge to the locker room, and these two angry sons of bitches all the time willing to accept and take on what I'm sure is going to be a slug fest of a fight. Ron Breaker chomping at the bit for opportunity here on Friday Night SmackDown. Look no further than this tag team matchup tonight. But here comes the man who is hot off the heels of a successful an absolutely invigorating World Heavyweight Championship defense this past Sunday night at Backlash against the franchise John Cena. The replay is available right now. You are not going to want to miss what was an absolute classic match of the year candidate between Cena and McIntyre. But as you see, the big gold belt remains around the waist of the Scottish Warrior. I think after Sunday night's victory, there is no doubt about it. You are looking at the face. You are looking at the man on Friday night SmackDown. And I'm sure there's a locker room full of superstars waiting to step up next to challenge Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship, especially with the Vengeance live premiere event coming up Sunday night, May the 14th. We will see in the coming weeks who will be next in line to challenge for the Scottish Warrior. But as for tonight, it's not about the goal that McIntyre hoist above his head. It is about the tag team matchup in the matter of hand. McIntyre and Braun Breaker always willing to put the Dukes up in fight, accepting this open challenge 
by Eric and Ivar earlier today, and what a matchup we are about to witness. I said it before, I will say it again. I am sure this is going to be a slugfest between these four heavyweights here in the main event. Rose Quarter, Portland, Oregon has already got an awesome smackdown when it comes to entering action, and that is going to continue right here, right now. My goodness, Brian Breaker, the strength out of that young man, send an Ivar for a roller coaster ride. Brian Breaker motivated as all hell tonight. And crashing and burning right there as Ivar steps out of the way and now has got himself in control at least for a moment. Liking Raiders, Drew McIntyre, all with very physical matchups this past Sunday night at Backlash. The wheels keep turning here in WWE. The wheels keep turning here on Friday Night SmackDown and every chance you get to step foot in that ring is a chance to gain some more opportunity here on the blue brand. We talk about it all the time, but wins and losses matter around these parts, especially when it comes to getting the main events, getting the big money, and most importantly, gaining opportunities to become champions. Viking Raiders pick up a win over Braun Breaker and Drew McIntyre tonight. You gotta believe they're gonna jump to the front of the line to have a rematch with Mustafa Ali and Ricochet for the World Tag Team titles. All remains to be seen in due time, but right now Ivar making light work of a former two-time NXT champion. Braun Breaker no slouch, a strengther, I should say a powerhouse with a lot of strength inside of that ring. He is getting manhandled right now by these two heavyweights as Eric, look at that. Double knee sends Breaker to the corner and Ivar gonna squash Breaker for good measures. And the tag was made to Eric, but Braun Breaker able to bounce up. Nice shoulder block there as Breaker now trying to get this crowd here in Portland on his side. Saw an amazing tag team matchup earlier tonight. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet still your world tag team champions after defeating Humberto and Angel Los Lotharios. And as we mentioned, when that match came to the close, you gotta wonder who's gonna be next to step up. Could very well be the Viking Raiders if they are successful in their efforts tonight. Brown Breaker trying to take on both men of Viking Raiders right there, and obviously, Eric was able to take advantage of the situation in a discus forearm. And Brown Breaker may be seeing stars after that. And Eric gonna continue the momentum. Again, this was an open challenge by the Viking Raiders. They wanted to get back inside the ring. They wanted to bounce back after that loss this past Sunday night. And this is their opportunity to do so. I don't know if they expected such a powerhouse duo, one of those men being the world heavyweight champion, to be the one that, to be the ones, I should say, to stand across the ring from tonight. But you get what you asked for here on SmackDown, and they're getting the fight that they wanted. Eric just taking down Braun Breaker with a couple of blows right there. I'm going to continue and those bare knuckles shots to the forehead. They very well may open up Braun Breaker if he's not careful. Braun is on spaghetti legs right now, but don't count out the man who, as we mentioned, is a former two-time NXT champion. Has been undefeated thus far on Friday Night SmackDown. And in his third outing tonight in Portland is looking half decent if I say so for myself. Not able to put Eric away. LeBron going to continue to fight, continue to push forward, just as he did throughout his entire NXT career, and I'm sure as the young man will continue to do here on the blue brand. As he tags in the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre, House of Fire, off that clothesline. McIntyre immediately going for the cover, and Ivar able to break things up. Drew McIntyre is looking for a close in this matchup already. Eric getting out of the way. You got to wonder the condition of McIntyre after that absolutely exhausting and physical world championship matchup this past Sunday. But it was McIntyre's choice to get inside the squared circle tonight. He knows his body better than anyone, and he's willing to put up the fight. I don't know, I don't know what Eric's got in mind. He's heading to the top rope, but Braun Breaker going to make sure Eric's wheels stop in a screeching halt. And Drew McIntyre now finds himself in the driver's seat. Gut wrench suplex to one half of the Viking Raiders. And McIntyre back into the cover. Goes the world champion. Will that do it here? Not just yet. Ivar getting into the ring. And McIntyre going to make sure Ivar, whatever he had in mind, isn't going to come to fruition. And now Drew back on the offense. Look at this strength out of the world heavyweight champion. 
the face of Friday Night SmackDown, showcasing his talents right now. McIntyre is the man on the blue brand. He absolutely proved that just last weekend in Minneapolis. Now looking to do so again tonight. Tag made to Braun Breaker. And Braun coming back in with a little bit of offense. Simple yet effective kick to the side of the Chrome Dome. One half of the Viking Raiders as the offense continues. Now Eric just unloading with a couple of blows himself. The Viking Raiders got to get back into this now or never as Breaker and McIntyre are really starting to build some steam before our very eyes. Now Braun Breaker, I thought he was going for a tag for McIntyre, but Breaker could be looking for that spear that put Otis away a few weeks ago here on SmackDown. A big time spear nearly cutting Eric in half into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet as Eric's able to get the shoulder up. The Viking Raiders as tough as they come as we've talked about with Ali and Ricochet earlier tonight. The Viking Raiders the same deal. We've seen them go to distance with the best of them. But Braun Breaker throwing more of his strongest attributes at Eric right now. Press slam. No, Eric kicks out again. Ron Breaker trying to put together the puzzle to defeat the Viking Raiders tonight. And maybe tagging in the World Heavyweight Champion will be the answer to the Viking Raiders problem. McIntyre mowing over Eric and a Glasgow kiss. McIntyre into the cover. Will that do it? Off all the offense, and it is. The Viking Raiders put out the open challenge. They lit the fire, but it was extinguished by Braun Breaker and the World Heavyweight Champion tonight on SmackDown. Physical, hard hitting main event. And I'd expect Three nothing wins. less. Braun Breaker and Drew McIntyre. Well, these two men certainly make a great unit. A victory over Alpha Academy, a victory over the Viking Raiders. Hell, I wouldn't mind seeing Breaker and McIntyre go tag team. Wait a minute. Braun Breaker. He just pulled McIntyre off the turnbuckle. And Braun Breaker's assaulting the World Heavyweight Champion. What the hell is going on right now? The World Heavyweight Champion doesn't know what hit him, and Braun Breaker is ragdolling Drew McIntyre. What the hell? Braun Breaker's looking for an opportunity, I guess, and has picked his spot and is ambushing Drew McIntyre when the champion least expected it. Braun is looking to make some noise here on Friday Night SmackDown, like it or not. And oh no, Braun is going after the steel steps and the world champion has got no idea what hit him. If Braun Breaker wanted an opportunity at the gold, I bet all he had to do was ask. But this young man has taken it upon himself to make some noise, to make an impact, and to ambush the Scottish Warrior. Message sent loud and clear. Braun Breaker is coming after Drew McIntyre. He wants next at the World Heavyweight Championship. Hey, so I'm on a chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm around.